Hello there, my name is Yvonne and today we're going to see modal verbs and phrases for prohibition, permission and no obligation. Uh, prohibition in the present. So I wrote in red the modal verbs and in yellow the phrases to distinguish them. So can't and mustn't are going to be the, the modal verbs for prohibition in the present tense. Now the phrases not let the verb to be not allowed to, uh, uh, don't or doesn't allow somebody to. So the example, you can't go through there, it says no entry. You mustn't use a calculator during the physics exam, it's forbidden. She will not let me drive uh, the car. I'm not allowed to speak during the exam. My dad doesn't allow me to use a computer after 11 p.m. Now the past prohibition, remember in red the modal verbs and in yellow the phrases. So couldn't. I think this is the only uh, modal verb here and the rest are going to be phrases. Didn't let was or were not allowed to, didn't allow someone to. Example, you couldn't go through there. It said no entry. She didn't let me drive the car. I was not allowed to speak during the exam. My dad didn't allow me to use the computer after 11 p.m. Be careful, okay? Don't use, don't have to, to express prohibition. When you say you don't have to use a calculator in the exam, it means that it's not necessary, but it's not forbidden, okay? So you're allowed in a way because if I tell, come on, you don't have to use a calculator, it's so easy, right? So if I want to emphasize that it's forbidden, that you cannot use it, I will say you mustn't use a calculator, right? Now, another thing. Don't use mustn't in the past. Must and uh, mustn't is going to be for the present. So if we want to express something in the past, we could say, I couldn't use a calculator in the exam. Permission. Remember, in red, the modal verbs, and in yellow, the phrases. Can. Modal verb. Could. Could again. May. So can. Uh, could and may are going to be the modal verbs for permission. Let is going to be a phrase together with the verb to be allowed to. So let's see the examples. Can I go to the party? Could I use the phone? Could you let me use the phone? May I use the phone? Are we allowed to use the phone? Now, no obligation in the present. These are gonna be phrases, all of them. Don't have to, uh, doesn't need to, needn't, okay? You don't have to uh, do the homework because you got 100 on your exam. You don't have to do it. He doesn't need to answer the questions. He doesn't need to, okay? You needn't read all the chapter, only the summary. So these two are gonna be more common. Uh, don't have to and doesn't need to or don't need to. A needn't is perhaps more British. Very good. So in American English, we're gonna be using these two. Now, no obligation in the past. And this is a very British thing that we're gonna be seeing. Needn't need to, it's it's, it was not necessary and it wasn't done. So, and the other one, needn't have plus the past participle is gonna be, it was not necessary and it was done. Okay, so here we have to distinguish these two. This is in British English because in American English, we would just say, uh, uh, I didn't have to, didn't have to, and that's that for both things. You know, okay, between them. So I guess that didn't have to is gonna be more like didn't need to for British people. 
Uh, so for example, need a need to, remember, it was not necessary and it was not done. And need and have plus the past participle, it is, it was not necessary, however, it was done. Let's see some examples. Uh, didn't need to. I didn't need to make dinner because my roommate made it for me. So I didn't have to do it because she cooked for me. Now, need and have. My dad needn't have brought me dinner, okay? Uh, but it was very nice of him that he did. So he brought me dinner, okay? So he, it was not necessary for him to do it. However, he did it. It's a brief summary of modal verbs and phrases, prohibition, permission, and no obligation. So if you like the video, uh, give a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? Goodbye, take care.